Gold. 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 You know you want more. Freedom of Information Act cast a fascinating new look at how the capital would have fared in the event of war breaking out between the United Kingdom and the Soviet Union. The arrival of a war over London would have been signalled by the explosion which you are now seeing. Whoa. Approximately six Whoa. minutes after the explosion, warning messages would be broadcast on all radio and TV I bet channels. there's been loads of nuclear wars all the time, the and the government hides them from us. And Tiefels, maybe, yeah. A senior white horn official. Hey, that must be our pizza outside. Out of this Nelson statue in Trafalgar Square. Hi, did somebody here order an extra large mushroom pizza? No, yeah, like um, an hour and a half ago. What took you? I got lost, man. Sorry. These houses don't look the same, and I just moved here. I tried a phone for some directions, and this little kid just stole my phone. I'll tell you what, I'll give you 50% off. Cool, thanks. You just moved here. You opened a business quick. Huh? Another proposal to oh, the name tag? No, my name is Wilbur Matthews. They make us all wear this to make the customers think it's personalised service. That's messed up. They're messing with your identity. Tell me about it. I'm not even Italian. In fact, you know what? There isn't even a real Mario. The company is owned by some lady from South End on Sea. I hate this uniform and everything it stands for. Oh, yeah. Yeah, jeez. No, I made you grow that awful moustache. No. The whole office building had been painted amber from the... Okay, um, well, how much do we owe you? Well, uh, it's 12 quid. If you give me six, excluding the tip... That should be fine. Thanks, dude. So, um, do you toke? What? You know, visit on Mary, her daughter MJ, a little bit of loony toad quack. What are you on about? You want to have a spiritual experience? I got some stuff that'll make you see your forefathers. Man, you might even be like Joan of Arc, hear some voices and stuff. No. What the hell, man? You, you think I look like I want to have a spiritual experience? Well, you kind of do. Look, it, it's been fun, but this pizza is already cold, so thank you and goodbye. Cool, cool, cool. Call again. Another Where did you get the pamphlet for this pizza guy? He's crazy. Why? What's wrong with him? Well, first off, he tells me his life story, and then he tries to sell me some drugs. Well? Well what? Did you buy some? Hell no. Oh, yeah. You don't need uppers or downers. With you, it all comes natural. It's all cold and stuff. That guy showed up on a BMX, dresses like a kid, except he had this moustache. Kind of like you, then. Oh, I wouldn't eat that if I were you. Tastes fine to me. And for a police officer to be encased within the stone shell. Itchy? Uh, I, I think I might need to lie down. Hey, uh, did you open the cupboard under the stairs? No. What's that smell? There's something in there. Can't you smell it?
It's because you ate that pizza. It's those spirits that guy spoke about. Go to bed. <laughs> Uh, look, it's, it's a goblin or something. It's been following us for three days. What the hell is it? Something's drawn it near. Yeah, well, no, yeah, well, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? Yeah, I suppose it is.